Today we're looking at two-way tables and again you'll just need uh, a ruler today. Uh, so we're looking at what we call two-way tables which um, like the uh, like the sample space diagrams that we were looking at, two-way tables help us to write down information in a really logical way. Now I'm hoping that you'll have seen these before so uh, hopefully this won't be anything new um, but we can uh, we can hopefully refresh your memory, you can write some new notes. Uh, these come up on the GCSE loads and loads and loads, so it's definitely worth having some notes. Um, so, let's um, have a look. Let's pretend that we, uh, we've we done a bit of a survey uh, of people at school, um, and we asked them um, uh, whether they were a boy or a girl, and whether they walked to school or whether they got the bus to school. Okay, so that's the, that's the information that we're dealing with. We need to make ourselves a table that we can put that information into. Um, so how's the easiest way of doing this? I'm going to uh, do it like that for now. And what did I say? So I said I had boy and girl, or I had walk or bus. So let me write my options. I've got boy or girl. And then I've got, or boys and girls, and then I've got walk or bus. So let's pretend they were the only two options in this school. We've got nobody that gets a lift, nobody that goes on the bike or helicopter or anything. The two options are walk uh, or bus. Um, and then we will be given information and we'll have to put that information into the correct, uh, into the correct place. So they might tell us that 15 boys walk to school. So into, into here we would put 15. They might tell us that in total 25 people walk to school. Now at the minute our table isn't equipped for that. So what I'm going to suggest is that we add on, and often you'll need to do this, add on what we call a total uh, column and a total row. So Sometimes they don't actually give you this, which is why I didn't put it on to start with. I want to make the point that sometimes you would have to draw this onto your table. So I'm going to call this total. Okay, so what did we say? We said that in total, 25 people walked to school. Now with that information, we can now fill in this box. We know that there were 25 people in total, 15 of them are here, so we've got 10 people here that can, uh, 10 girls that walked. How about if there were 30 girls in total? So in total we had 30 girls, well 10 girls walked and we've got 30 in total, that means that 20, 30 minus 10 must go there. So it's almost like a little bit of a puzzle, okay, we've got a little bit of a puzzle that we need to fill in um, and uh, there's often more than one way of doing it, but yeah, it's a puzzle that we need to uh, fill in. Right, let's pretend that we've got 50 people in total. So this is the total of the totals. We've got 50 people in total. So have a look here. The number of boys and the number of girls must add up to 50. And I've got 30 girls, which means I must have 20 boys. And if I look here... Well, I've got 25 people that walk, and I've got 50 people in total. 50 take away 25 is 25. Now I've got two ways of working out this number, and with any luck, they're going to give me the same thing. So I've got 15 boys, and I need a total of 20. So I'm going to have to have five more. And if I look down the bus column, 5 add 20 equals 25. Once we've filled in our two-way table, you can be asked to um, answer some questions about it. So the questions might be things like, um, how many girls got the bus? Well, we would go, we would find girls and bus, which is 20. You might be asked, how many uh, boys were there in total? Well, boys total is 20. So once you've drawn up your two-way table, you can be asked uh, questions about it. OK, um, I don't know whether you want to write any notes. Um, I think we'll just write one note about kind of what a two way table is. But I'm not really sure there's that much more that needs to be said. I think perhaps if you just have a go 
that might be the best thing. Um, so let's write that um, when the outcome or the outcomes of an experiment are um, pairs of results like boy walk or girl bus. So when the outcomes of an experiment are pairs of results, the frequencies, that's a nice maths word, just means how many, the frequencies uh, can be shown in a two-way table. So, like this experiment, we asked people if they were a boy or a girl and if they walked or got the bus. So one of the results was girl and bus. So our results come in pairs and then we can write down the frequencies uh, in our two-way table. So we never have anything in the two-way table apart from normal numbers like this, which we call the frequencies. Okay, right, so I'd like you to have a go then at um, worksheet two. I don't think I need to waffle anymore. I think if you just have a go at worksheet two, hopefully that will make sense. Uh, get in touch if there's any problems.